What's going on guys? Welcome back to a video that Fuzzy Official cannot avoid. It's the Cyberpunk 2077 graphics settings video. Yes, we're back with the graphics settings video of this game. Now, a lot of you may know this game is extremely buggy, extremely badly optimized, and basically one of the hardest games to run possible at the moment, especially on high quality. Now, since last graphics settings video, guys, I've upgraded my monitor, so we do now run 1440p. Um, this does change a few things in your graphics settings, but if I can run these in 1440p with a 1080 Ti uh, graphics card, then you guys can run this at 1080p with a 1070. Simple. That That is, I get an average 60 to 80 frames, and that is more than capable of running this game. You don't need 100 frames. It's not a mad first-person shooter. This is more like a GTA crossover with the future. That's that's what I'm going to call it. Anyway, going to go straight into the, the video. Um, so if you guys want to go on to gameplay first, uh, I would look at this um, because you've got performance here. You see... Performance down here and crowd density, you want to put this on medium, guys. You don't want this on high, because if you've got a lot of people around, it, it's a lot more to render and a lot more uh, VRAM it's using on, on your gra graphics card. So turn this down to medium and uh, show HUD on off. Uh, the graphics are going to get into that. I've got taste of quality high. You really want to see the beauty of this game. You don't really want to just let it go uh, to waste trying to run it. So you want to see the beauty of the game. You can run this game probably in 40 to 50 frames and still be comfortable. It might hurt your eyes a little bit uh, in some close-up shooting scenes and you might get a, a dip in frames to like 30, even to 20 sometimes. Uh, I've got down into some of the most popular areas and some big gunfights. So guys, Feel free to customize these. These are subject to change. So all your graphics ends might not work on this one, but they might work perfectly. It depends on what computer you've got. Depends on how old your computer is. Depends on a lot of things, guys. So if you want to mess around with them, you guys comment down below your PC specs. Comment down below what you've changed to make it run smoother, and I'll pin your comment. Uh, Whoever works the best, whoever has, whoever has the most likes on the uh, comment i'll pin it and you guys can go off their graphics settings if mine aren't the best ones to run anyway back to my graphics settings so field of view i have this on 95 this is personal preference but i like to see more of the game but this does take a toll on the performance so if you guys want the best performance turn this down to 80 or even 75 but i i recommend 80 no lower than that it just looks weird as hell but i've got it on 95 because i like to see everything and i can run just about 95 100 a bit too much for me but 95 is just that little sweet spot film grain uh have that on uh chromatic aberration i have that on you gotta bear with me guys my voice is starting to go a little bit i don't know why it's just starting to go it's not covid or anything uh depth of field i have that off lens flare i have that on uh motion blur turn it off it just looks weird as hell and if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a long time, if you've watched all my graphics settings videos, then you know I hate shadows, yeah? And look at the amount of shadows in this game. It's ridiculous. So we're going to just go through them. I hate shadows, but we're just going to get through them, smash through them. Anyway, contact shadows, we're going to have it on. Uh, improved facial lighting geometry, we have this on. Anastropic, oh, well, I can't speak today. I have this on 16. Um, local shadow mesh quality have this on high I'm not going to explain what everything does if you guys want to see a video where I explain everything then please do comment down below I know a lot of people on my other videos say I don't explain what it is because this is a graphic settings video we're going through it quickly we want you guys to have the best graphic settings as quick as possible we don't want to be messing around looking and talking about everything but I'm still talking anyway carry on um, local shadow quality we have that on medium uh, cascade shadow range have that on medium as well cascade shadow resolution also have that on medium distance shadow resolution have that on high um, volumetric fog regs oh my god volumetric fog resolution have that on high uh, volumetric cloud quality now turn this down to low i've noticed that does uh, impact your performance quite a bit uh, max dynamic decals have that on high Screen space reflections. Now, this one is personal preference. I do like to have this on high. I won't go below that. Uh, this game's all about shininess. Uh, I did have it on Psycho for a while and didn't even realise I had it on Psycho. And I was wondering why I was getting 20 frames. But if you want the best quality for the best screen space reflections, please have this on high, no lower. Uh, it just looks weird and horrible. Uh, subsurface scattering. Um, have this on high. 
ambient occlusion also have that on high color precision mirror quality and level of detail have all them three on high now if you've got 20 to no, if you've got 2000 series or 3000 series you can have ray tracing on your computer will be able to handle this so have this on and you also have the new dls dlss uh, which helps improve frames. So if you have the new 3080 or a 20 series, then please turn this DLSS on. I don't actually have access to it because I've only got a 1080 Ti, um, but please do have this on. Make sure you have it on quality, not performance. If you have this on performance, guys, your quality will drop dramatically and it will just look vile. Uh, now, I've had a lot of people ask, why is it blurry? And this is the reason. So a lot of people put this in performance because they want the most frames. But what performance does, it lowers the texture qualities, lowers everything, and it just looks blurry and weird. Just put it on quality, guys, and I can promise you that will run nice and smooth. That's if you have an RTX series card. If you have anything below that, then it's not going to work for you. Uh, but these are the settings here, guys. Just run through these quickly. Uh, if you guys like these settings, please comment and like this video as well. If you dislike them, then just leave a dislike. That's, that's the whole point. Uh, the point of these videos, guys, is to get the best graphics settings out there for you. So this is a medium range to high range PC um, combo. So whatever combo you've got, comment down in the description what computer you've got. All your specs, all my specs are in my description, so you can go check them out as well. And also, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more graphics settings video. And also, if you want to see some Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay, then feel free to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below what you'd like to see, what missions, tips and tricks, anything like that, I'll be sure to do them. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.